Amanda Irvin here with the Coach's Corner. I'm joined with pitching coach Bill Bray, former Firebird and Major League pitcher. Bill, what brought you back to the Cape? Uh, you know, I couldn't resist when uh, Kelly Nicholson called me. and He was my pitching coach when I played here in 2003. And so when he called me and said, hey, what are you doing? And I said, nothing. He said, you want to be the pitching coach? I said, heck yeah. I mean, there's no turning that down, especially once my wife heard. She's a Cape girl, so, you know, when, once she found out, there was no turning back. What's that like once being coached by Kelly now, coaching with him? It, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, I learned a lot when I played for him here, and, you know, I'm continuing to learn a lot from him as a coach and uh, just getting the chance to work with these guys on a day-in, day-out basis. It's, it's great. You were on the 2003 Firebird Championship team. What are some of your best memories? You know, the dog pile at the end, you know, everybody talks about the dog pile, and that was special. What I really remember is just how it was a really good team, like the atmosphere. Like, we all just really, we meshed well together and just had a blast that summer. I mean, I made a lot of good friends and going to the lake um, over in Brewster. I stayed with the Smith family and spending time at the Lassier's house and um, in Pleasant Bay. I mean, just really I think I remember more of the stuff that was off the field and how much fun I had here. And then, of course, meeting my wife. I mean, it, once I met her, I pretty much stopped working and, you know, played baseball. And, you know, it's like definitely the best summer of my life. What's it been like teaching these guys pitching? It's been fun. You know, I, I still sometimes have a hard time believing I'm coaching and not playing. You know, I'd, I'd really wish I could get out there and pitch here. <laughs> and uh, it, it's fun and just working with these guys on just great talent and you know if I can help them achieve their green dreams that's what I'm here for. What's some of that advice that you give them? To battle every day um, you know this is a place like I came from William and Mary and relatively unknown when I got here and left a prospect so you know the advice I try to stress to them is to grind every day and to play as hard as they can because you never know who's watching and you can really set up your future here as a ball player. How have you seen the league change at all since you were here? You know, I really, the, the face has changed, the name's changed, but the ball players, you know, they they pretty much stay the same. I mean, it, it's just a blast. It's laid back. I love, you know, the field here is much nicer mm -hmm. than it was, you know, after all the renovations they've done. And I've noticed that a lot of the fields have been renovated, which is great. But, I mean, just the feeling here with the fans on the berm and setting up the chairs and the blankets, I mean, it's, it's just awesome. So rivalry weekend, two games for Stratum. Do you remember what that was like, the big crowds on the 4th of July? Absolutely. I remember kicking Chatham's rear end. So, no, um, you know, it was fun. You know, whether it was Brewster or Harwich or Chatham or, you know, really any of the teams. I mean, there was that great town-to-town -town rivalry. Um, you know, unfortunately, we won a lot of those games. So, it was a lot of fun. The pitching has been pretty dominant this summer, leading the league in most categories. What's going right for these arms? Uh, we've got good arms. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's probably the biggest thing is, I mean, the pitchers bought in. I mean, they're doing just incredible jobs. They're getting ahead of batters. They're throwing strikes. They're getting ground balls. And, I mean, I think a lot of that goes also towards our defense. We have a great defense out there that's making plays behind us. What are your goals for the rest of the summer with this team? Just to continue to help these guys progress and get better and to put them in, you know, like I said earlier, they're the best possible situations to be successful out on the mound and to help them achieve their dreams, you know, if we don't win another game, but all these guys hit their dreams, and I mean, that's that's what's most important to me. All right, thanks, Bill. Again, this is Amanda Irvin here with Coach's Corner with pitching coach Bill Bray. Thank you. Thank you.